Hey, what's up? This is Dave Navarro, and I'm just about to walk into Stern. And uh, it's fucking early. It's way too early for me. I haven't slept. It's 11 degrees outside, which is fucking god awful. I'm from LA. But I'm psyched about doing this. It's my first time on the show since uh, it's been on Sirius, which is free range. Um, and first time since I've been single on the show. So, so you're really going to be able to talk and open up today? To a degree. I mean, I, I generally I'm not going to talk about like somebody else's personal business. Right. But, you know, my own business for sure. For sure. And you also don't have the FCC uh, That's over what I'm excited shoulder. about. That's what I'm excited about. Dave Navarro is an old friend of the show. Uh, he's been in many great bands. Uh, let's see. What bands has he been in? Dave's been in... Uh, um, what was it? The Chili Peppers. Jane's Chili Addiction. Peppers. Jane's Addiction. Yep. Chili Peppers. Chili Peppers. Jane's Addiction. Yeah. There's the resume. That's a good rock and roll resume. Look at the guy. Always got the tattoos. Oh, look at this. The right shirt. Hey. The right outfit. Always uh, adorned. <sighs> How are you? How you doing, man? Let me look at you. Oh, you you look. look good. You look Thank good. You. You look Hi, hon. You hit the gym. You've been working out. Actually, I have not been in a while. It's time to go back. Let me, let me, let's talk turkey here. Let's talk uh, The turkey. Carmen Electra thing first. Yeah. Let's start with that. Uh, she is one of the icons of beauty in this country. Absolutely. When people think of uh, the hot chick, they think of Pam Anderson, they think of Carmen Electra. Absolutely. This is, this is what we're talking about. Okay. Uh, the girl's sexy. I know her personally. I know. I think she's level-headed. She's not a bim. Amazing. She's Amazing real, woman. Uh, 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 incredibly not a bim. No, absolutely not. Absolutely. How do you blow that? I heard you cheated on her. Yeah, there was a lot of talk about that. And you I got, did. I got, no, well, no, not really. And I actually got slammed publicly for that. And I had to kind of keep my mouth shut about it. Why what did do you, you mean? have to keep your mouth shut? Because the way media is right now, if you say uh, anything, they fuck, everybody picks it up now. Mm -hmm. And then it gets run and run and run and rerun. And you're just fucked. So but you you're kinda, a rock and roll guy. You shouldn't care what people think. You went into the porn industry yeah. because you want to be a rebel. You want well, to. No, no, no. I don't care what people think for sure. But when it comes to somebody else, like when it comes to her and her life, right. I got to respect that. But you, you know? cheated. I did not cheat. Why cheat on Carmen Electra? Didn't he said he didn't cheat. Didn't he's, cheat. he's not telling the truth. He's lying. I'm telling you the truth. There's Why would Carmen break up with you then? <laughs> did she cheat? Well, no, she didn't cheat, and I didn't cheat, but here's the deal. Our, our careers and our personal paths, like, it took us far away from each other, and mm. we ended up being, like, best friends. You know how it is, dude. I mean, you're just, you're never home. And one thing leads to another, and you find yourself living with your best friend. How many marriages have you uh, been through? Well, that's like my only real marriage. I was like in a shotgun Vegas wedding once. All right, so this was your second marriage. Yeah. Would you ever get married again? Never again. Never again. Never again. Because you realize if you're you bad at it. you can't make it work with Carmen I'm not good Electra. at it. You're not yeah. good at it. I'm not very good at it. Yeah, no. I'm trying it again. <laughs> Are you really? I'm going to do it. Really? Good for you. Yeah, I'm doing it. I've when? been with the same woman now for uh, almost eight years. I proposed last Valentine's Day. Yeah, but Day. you are good at it, though. You're proven good well, at it. I, I'm, you, I'm better at it than kids, you are. You have long longevity. You have right. the whole thing. You're but definitely ultimately, I failed. Now, how did you fail, though? I mean, I, I was married well, 20 years. Well, it's supposed to last the rest of your life. That's but who what it said? Is. Why, why does it have to last? That's, that's what marriage premise. is. That's the that's premise. That's the premise, but that's when, like, so we... I failed. That's when, a, when human beings died when they were, like, 30. <laughs> that's true. You know what I mean? That's when they <laughs> Look, instigated this whole marriage. You Your think parents some... didn't die at 30. They're no, still married. No, they didn't, married. but they well, weren't around when had, they invented marriage. My either. parents had no options. <laughs> no one was looking to bang either one of them. That's what kept them together. Is that the problem? Is that the problem, though? You do, after your marriage... Too many options. To Carmen Electra, yeah. I'll tell you some of the women you had. All right. And one of them was talking about you on here the other day, talking shit about you a little Which bit. Which one? Which one? Jenna Jameson. Talking said, shit? A little bit. You're a little kidding. Bit. Let's, well, oh, let's get really. into it. Want I me mean, to play it? Yeah, let's get into it. Let's, it here's wasn't... What, you got to be fucking kidding me. No, nope. here's what she said. <laughs> talking here's, shit. Really? Well, I, you tell me if it's all shit. Right, Maybe right. I'm out of line saying that. All right. All right. Before Tito, you dated Dave Navarro. Uh -huh. And you he... still had no sex drive during the Dave Navarro dating? Uh-uh. I just didn't gel with him. Uh, he wasn't so? my Ex type of guy. Explain to me. Well, he was my same height. Ah. And that kind of weirded me out a little bit. I like really tall guys, so... See, Howard, we have something good with ourselves. We're yeah, we're men. perfect. Yes. Is, he, <laughs> is, is Dave Navarro too close to woman? In other words, his he pants... He is kind of femme feminine. for me. Yeah, he wears a lot of makeup and... But he's a heterosexual. Yes. He's like a he Mexican prince. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's right. El Capitan. Yeah, he's a cool guy. He's the kind of guy that I want to be friends with. Yes. But, like, looking down at him during sex was... 
it's just not my thing. See, I didn't well, have that's that. That's an ex- insult. It is. It is an it insult. Is. But I'll tell you this: I didn't have that experience with her. Looking down on her was perfect. Right. You like having sex with her? Absolutely. Uh, she was good in bed. You didn't get freaked out that she was in porno, that she was with a lot of guys. No, I don't care about that. You don't. I don't you go in bareback, no rubber, nothing. Absolutely rubber. Absolutely, Absolutely every rubber. time. But you go time. down on her with your mouth without uh, any protection. It's a gray area when, right. <laughs> when it comes to that. I mean, it really is. You're worried about, like, you, you, would not, you would not look good with a cold sore. You would not look good with a, uh, you know, that would ruin yeah, your Yeah, I mean, it's, I, you know, it's hard to explain. Like, when it comes to that whole, like, past lovers thing, like, you don't, you know, when you're in the moment, you don't think about that. Right. And, uh, I, and, and frankly, I don't really care. When she's blowing you, do you worry that she could have a cold sore of some kind and give you the herpes? Doesn't occur to me. That's yeah. that's like on the drive home you think about that. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. To be honest with you. Right. But definitely a rubber with her. <laughs> Absolutely. Right. Now, with Carmen, you tried to make a baby, right? Is that true? Never did. You never did? No. Never? I don't think that either one of us were into it. Hmm. I just, uh... You know, you don't want to have kids. I'd never want to have kids. I have a real dark I, theory about you and Carmen. Okay, let's hear it. And I want you, but uh, see, I think you're going to give me some bullshit. I want you to Dude, be straight. When have with I me. never right. shot straight to you, Dave? I've never given you. bullshit. I'm going to lay it on the line to you. All right. <laughs> the rumor was mm-hmm. that after your marriage to Carmen Electra, yeah. That she became, this was a rumor, I don't know that any of this is true, Mm. that she ran off with Joan Jett, a female. Yeah, I heard that too. Right. That perhaps she went gay after you. That'd be fine with me. I wish she had. Well, (laughs) be be honest with you. Well, because you don't want to think of her with another man? Who does? I mean, who's going to want to think of that? You know, I'd much rather think of her with Joan Jett than with some guy. Did you ever say to her, are you now with Joan Jett? Are you Mrs. Joan Jett? No. Never said it. Seriously, to be honest with you... That, like, what she does with her personal life now, like, intimately, I don't want to hear about that. But do you that. think that that could be the case? I really don't know. I doubt it, to be honest with you. You do? I do. I do doubt it, although I wish it were true. When's the last time you two spoke? About a month ago. A month ago? Yeah. So you're still friends? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, totally. I told Carmen not to marry you. <laughs> I couldn't she stand had, it. She had the time of her life. What are you talking about? I didn't like it. We had a great, Why didn't you like it? Because I don't like any girl being with any guy. Every girl should be with me. Yeah, all right. Well, <laughs> I, I can get with that. <laughs> <You know? laughs> I understand that. So there came a time where you started to look at Carmen Electra as your best friend. Can you believe it? In other words, you didn't see her sexually. Can you believe that? It, no, I can't. And I think probably the same way for her. Do you feel you're gay? Do I feel I'm gay? Yeah. Absolutely not. You've kissed men. Eh. You kiss sh- men. Yeah. That, you know, and you said the way I proved that I wasn't gay was to be with men. Well, you no, I didn't say you. that. What I said was I was. Well, I'll tell you exactly what I said. I <laughs> now, said I've been straight up. But I know a bunch of guys who are proving that. Then. <laughs> <laughs> no, what I said is I've been in scenarios where there's like a lot of sexual activity going on. Yeah, absolutely. You can imagine. I can imagine. Tour buses, back of buses, the whole thing. You've done it all, my Cocks friend. are out. Right. The whole thing, and I can tell you, I'm fucking dead certain that that was not arousing to me. All right, there was a. But girl... I wasn't with men. All right, but there and was I a never girl... will be. And if you look at my fucking resume, dude. How can anybody say that shit? I don't know. You, take a look at my... I saw a picture of you the other day. You were wearing fishnet stockings. Oh, come on, dude. It's a fucking rock. It's entertainment. <laughs> all right, all right. Break. Listen, that's a little uh, feminine to be in fishnets and... Uh, you got to be fucking kidding me. I'm not kidding. We're close-minded. <laughs> right, right? Has a cock ever been in your mouth? That's all I know. Absolutely not. You Never take a, a lie detector? Jesus. Take a lie detector. All right, we got Let's another lie detector. <laughs> lie detector. We better get them all in here on the same Yet, day. <laughs> you do admit you took a vibrator on stage and stuck it in your own Yes, I did. I actually said that on my own show. Which is on, which right. internet, incidentally, is uh, maniatv.com. If you want to hear more stories like oh, that, I'm gonna, go check I'm it I'm going to plug that. There now, a, why would you do that? I was so fucked up on drugs, like <laughs> shooting heroin, cocaine. This is like oh, 12, 12 years ago. Yes. Shooting drugs. And I used this vibrator to play guitar with. It made a rad sound on the, on the oh, strings. And fair enough. Doing this whole thing. And, it's funny. Uh, yeah, and it was at the Universal Amphitheater. And, you know, I was just like, I was just so out of my fucking mind that I was like, you know what would be really exciting? What these people are going to dig. I should just stick this up my ass. So, like, I'm thinking this is a great idea, really avant-garde, really edgy move. I do it. I got my, my, I'm turned around towards the audience. I do it. I turn around. I'm like, wait till they get a load of this. And I look, and they were all 
Just like <laughs> fucking stunned. What the fuck did that guy just do? What band were you with when Jane's you did? Addiction. Oh, Jane's Addiction. In fact, right. even the other guys in Jane's Addiction were like, what the fuck did he just do? Perry you was shocked even, Jane's Addiction. You, you, Probably not the best idea I ever you had. You certainly didn't shock Perry with that, though. Did I you? think I did. You did. I think he, I did. Even he went. I gotta say, let me ask you this. Yeah. You ever jerk a guy off? <laughs> fuck that, dude. Are you right. kidding me? So when I hook you up to the lie detector once and for all, we're gonna yeah, know. Yeah, if we get there. We're gonna get there. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna drag you in and hook you up to the lie detector. All right. But I mean, getting bored of Carmen Electra. Okay, I understand of it. So when you were getting bored but, of I mean, Carmen you've, Electra, you've been, you've been, been down there. the road. I have. Trust me. I've been with some beautiful and it's like, women. And to put it this way, you know, you're waking up every single day together. You're you're fucking. You're traveling. You're off. You know, it's like one thing leads to another, and you still love that person. You're still intimate with that person. And I don't want to get all like serious and heavy handed right. here, but like you know, you still cuddle and you want to watch your shows together. But at the end of the day, it's like it's not that exciting. It's not. You know, and Would that's you, why I'll never get married again. I understand. You realize that you need more than one woman in your life. Eventually, somewhere down the line. Did you ever turn to Carmen and say, maybe we should share our bed once in a while with some women? God, I'd love to answer that stuff. You know, I just have to respect her. So you did ask her. All right. So <laughs> I, that's fair enough. I, I will. Uh, it's a non-denial denial. Put well, it that you way. had the impression that they were actually doing that. There was one time oh, that yeah. they left here. Yes. Uh, I know I they were. I forget what the situation was. But they did do it. you pretty much were assured that something was happening after yeah. this show. I knew these two were in trouble when Dave was in, uh, he was in fire. He was mm-hmm. trying to get chicks into the bed. You were. You were definitely fire? angry. What are you talking you about? Remember you'd come into my studio and you were always trying we to Savannah finagle. here. I know. Now, you did bang not? her. You did bang her. Savannah? Yes. Never did. I don't believe that. I'm, I'm, I'm going to hook you up. I'm much, I'm, I'm <laughs> much rather have you believe questions. that I did. You wanted her to join you and Carmen. Uh, of course. Right. And Carmen was open to it. I remember she said I would do it with a girl. I think she was She was open to it on the radio. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, I think once, once, once the power goes off, she's not so open to it. So when the time came that you began to get bored of Carmen, it who would you think about in bed when you were fucking uh, Carmen Electra? Um, it wasn't a matter of that, you know. Um, it was I was never bored with her. We just honestly I didn't, understand. We but didn't have like a lot of time did, together. Did you try to spice things up? Did you ever say let's watch porn together? Let's uh, we, we, yeah, we used to we watch have porn, we yeah. have watched porn, but then what does that it, do? It, what are you gonna it do? doesn't do anything. That doesn't help. You know what I mean? Well you're making a good point. You're really making a lot of sense. Well, do I mean, you think that it's a you know, Carmen can't be uh happy when a guy is asking her to bring another girl into the bedroom. No. It's well, tough I mean, one, but some girls like that. Some girls do like that. I mean, yeah, I don't... but I mean, you know, she's Carmen Electra. Is it possible? But she's still a human being, Robin. <laughs> Can I ask you a question? And maybe this, I don't want to embarrass you. But uh, Bubba... I'm still pissed off about this fucking. I'm going to call Greg Jenna Simmons? in like 10 minutes. Oh, oh Jenna. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, why are you pissed off about Jenna? Because, A, she's, first of all, she had no problem with your height. Big deal. So you're the same height as her. Yeah, who, cares? What the fuck, who gives a fuck about that? And she's that? saying because you were feminine? Yeah, I was just prettier than her. Uh-huh. You're a pretty man. Oh, oh snap. <laughs> I'm going to call her when I get out of here. Okay, you're kind of cute. Wait, but you were going to ask me a question. Go ahead. All right, look. Did you ever eat your own cum? Oh, wow. Geez. I'm Man, asking I'm telling you why I'm at. <laughs> <laughs> Please do tell me why you're asking me that. Yeah, I'm a very talented oh, interviewer. Th- that is yeah, avant-garde. Wow. I want to play you something. Yeah. All right. Th- and Gary said, don't play this for Dave. Dave will get upset and this and that. Oh, but is this I- the Stormy thing? Let's go down no, that road, dude. I-, I don't know. who. Is this a porn star? Stormy, Stormy Daniels. Stormy Daniels. Yeah, let's yeah. do it. Let's you want me to play you the clip first? Yeah, so you have all the Okay. Let's have the information. She was on uh, our Bubba the Love Sponge show. Yeah, I know. I heard about it. Okay. She made a sexual claim about you. That doesn't sound right. It doesn't. It does. So I've you... never heard it, so let's hear All right, it. all right. Listen to it. And here's and here's one of these situations, Howard. Like like I said, I fucking I won't talk shit about somebody or I won't get into somebody's personal life. Right. But, but if, if someone's going to open it up, I'm Thank fucking, you. let's walk down all that. Right. I'm the all same right. way. You know what I mean? I am the same way. I've never talked about the women I had sex with unless they admit to it. Exactly. Then I'm, then, and Which let's is go. why, like, when Car- when it comes to Carmen, Understood. I got to respect her. She's my, my homie. Let's go down this well, road. Well, I have a tape of her saying you were not good in bed. Carmen said that. Bullshit. Hey, listen to this tape. No, you don't have that. Dave wasn't good in bed. <laughs> He's a real asshole. Now, what do you think of that? Yeah. All right, here we go. No, it's Carmen's only said nice things. Compelling She's only said nice things about about you, as I have as well. Yeah, right. you have. Here is the Bubba the Love Sponge show and Stormy Daniels, who claims I don't know this. to have I had a weird sex scene with you. And I want you to be honest about this. All right. Right. So he starts undo his pants, and I tell him, you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not doing anything. And his exact words to me were, "That's okay." 
you don't have to. Just stand there. So I'm standing pressed against the wall, clutching my purse in a standing sort of fetal position because he is now between me and the door. Incidentally, she's about and eight he, feet tall. Okay. So she's not like this victim here. All right. You know right, what I'm right, saying? Right, that I took advantage. She's, no, she's not claiming that. You, you okay. trapped her in a room. Trapped against the wall, clutching <laughs> no, she's her saying purse. Are you, you kidding in a room me? with her, and she, you said no problem. You just stand there. So that's all she said okay. so far. Okay. Right. So far, I got no problem. All right. Takes it out and furiously begins to jerk himself. I don't care who you are or where you are. This is pretty fucking weird. He didn't say, like, talk dirty to me, dance around, nothing. He just starts jerking dance off. Dance around. And then the strangest thing I would thing never is say that. <laughs> dance around. Who needs you dancing? Just that like that, honey. Do the Charleston. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> Charleston. Dance around. All right, here we go. Just keep listening. All right. This with his right hand. His left hand disappears underneath him. Mm-hmm. Right to the right underneath the balls? No. His asshole? Underneath his body. I didn't see where it went, but I'm uh. assuming. What did you do with your other hand while you were jerking yourself off? Did you put it in? Well, first, let's 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 paint the actual scenario. All right, here. Let's finish this tape. I'm down. Uh, finish. There's more tape. Yeah, there's more tape. Okay, let's go to the tape. I, so you're you're assuming. <laughs> you're assuming. I am assuming. You're assuming. I am assuming. I can't guarantee any that his fingers were on his butt at that's what it looked like to me. Uh, so that's all. I'm you, you definitely. So it. then he starts to look like he's nearing the end of the adventure. How long and was I, this? And I oh, like thirty seconds. Then I'm beginning to wonder, what is he going to do with what's going to come out of his penis? How, right? how is she yeah. wondering that? Well, listen, like, listen. Um, you got to think I he's tr- swallow he it? Came, he came in his hand, and as he was reaching his hand up from his crotch <laughs> up towards his head, I closed my eyes and pressed myself against the wall, and it was magically gone. Okay. I can't say without a doubt that he ate it. Oh, I have she no can't. confirmation because I didn't okay, see it. I was like, this is the weirdest fucking thing ever. She says somehow your cum disappeared in your hand, and she thinks you ate it, but she can't say First for sure. First of all, okay, let's paint right, the let, whole picture. Go ahead. Yeah. And, and, get it off the and table. And secondly, right. there is a lot of assumptions going here. I didn't see where his hand went. I didn't see where the cum went. Why but yet jerking? I'm here to tell the story anyway. Why are you in a room jerking all right, off? Did, right? Yeah, to paint First the, all, picture. the picture. You don't need to jerk the, off. The picture is this. Well, all first right. of all, once I get to a certain point, if you know, if I'm, if I got to finish, I got to finish. But... Put it this way. We're at Erotica L.A., which is like a big porn convention in L.A. Fair enough. I meet Stormy. I'm interviewing her for my show. We're having a good time, blah, blah, blah. Um, she's going to the Playboy Mansion for a party. Right. Are you going? I'm like, no, I'm not going. I'm going to be burnt. Me and my partner go to the Rainbow. We're chilling at the Rainbow. I get a text from Stormy. Hey, Dave, it's Stormy. I'm up at the Playboy Mansion. Come play with me. All right. Okay. <laughs> Wasn't even going to go. I'm like, right. fine, fuck it, let's go. Yeah, she's go th- making the signals. Yeah, go ahead. How am I misinterpreting Nothing. these messages? Uh, okay. <laughs> right? Yeah. right? Like, where did, I, where did I get that wrong? Come play with me at you the Playboy got a, Mansion. So far, you're a man. Okay, so, doing so I jam up to the Playboy Mansion, and there she is wearing next to nothing, and she's, you know, we're making out and we're playing, and she leads me into the game room, right. which is, incidentally, has six or seven spare bedrooms. <laughs> right. Right? I'm like... Cool. Game room, spare bedrooms, let's go. Right. We get in there, and then uh, it turns, we, we're making out, and it turns into, uh, you know, the cock comes out, the whole thing. Right. Uh, no condom. Your cock. Right. You had no condom. Yeah. Well, that too. Right. <laughs> no, no, con- no condom. Mine and hers. So you say, I'm going to be safe. You're smart, man. Going to be safe. She's right. like, well, she was not down with the no condom thing right. either. So why didn't she just jerk you off? I don't know, dude. I mean, right. we're making out. I jerked off, and I came, and that was done. Right. I so mean, there she was wasn't no... crouched in a corner. Oh, did you put your own timid... fingers up your ass to come? Fuck no. Are you kidding me? Why did your hand disappear <laughs> back in the back of the The uh, only pants? thing I can imagine, and I hate to paint this scenario, but the only way that I can imagine is perhaps... You have roids? <laughs> or perhaps. He wanted to play with his roids? <laughs> you know, there's, there's a whole... <laughs> Let me just put it this way. There right. is a whole setup. It's not just the cock. Right. Do you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, so right. You Absolutely. Were there might, your there balls. might be. There might be. Yeah. Maybe there, you were playing with your balls. Perhaps. All right. You know, well, <laughs> just, you know who knows? I mean, it's a lot to, be on on you, to be honest with you, I wasn't really thinking about like documenting this. Right. But at the same time, so I'm like, I'm, I'm at home, and it's like, fucking, I, you know, I'm, I'm very active on the internet, and my fans and, and right. I, we interact, and I hear this story about Stormy being on Bubba and telling this. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? Like, this. First of all, this girl's nine feet tall. She could fucking kick my ass for sure, right? Sends me a text, come play with me at the Playboy Mansion, and then is like, somehow I've crossed the line with her. Yeah. But don't you learn a lesson from this that, yeah. that you are, are you a kidding? famous man? But she is. I mean, like, come on, dude. And you've got to. You got to realize I've these crossed scenes, the line. These girls no, wait, are going to talk. Wait, 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 but wait, these girls are going to talk. 
I don't also, give a fuck if they talk, now, but now, she'll tell but the truth. And from now on, something. show these girls where your cum goes. I mean, they're thinking you're eating it. Oh, why, <laughs> why do I? <laughs> where where did your cum go? Who knows, where dude? I probably go? fucking did one of these. You wiped I mean, it on listen, the couch. I've been I pretty have, hungry in my yeah, right. To be honest with you, I may have just done one of the swipes. Why Why not be Who safe knows? and come on their face so they know that you've... you've uh, you know what? From now on, Howard, that's, you know, I stand corrected. That's They're nothing but a cum dumpster. Let me ask you something. Are you not making... The next day phone call. What is going on? Oh, here? oh, here's what happened. Here's exactly yeah, what he's, happened. He's hurting the girl's yeah. feelings somehow. Somehow, I think this is what happened, and right. you know she could contest this. In fact, if we can get her on the phone, let's let's have this conversation. Get her on the phone. Gary. <laughs> Are you not yeah, doing you the know. next day facts? No, <laughs> no the, the the next day or the day after, I may, I probably played it cool. Oh, wait a day. Right, right, right. <laughs> right. All right you're a gentleman. Yeah, you know, you're playing, but, you're, you're playing uh, the game. Let's go get dinner. Let's hang out. Blah blah right. blah. And she's like, Yeah, cool. That I'd be down. And then. Uh, Something came up, and I had to text her and say, listen, I can't make dinner. Right. How's tomorrow? Never heard from her again. And then the next thing I know, she's talking shit on me. Yeah, yeah. 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 You see, but you got to be careful. you got to protect yourself. I'm telling you, you got yeah, to. Yeah, but see, how, here's the thing. It's like I do protect myself, and like I said, I don't open the door. I don't talk shit about anybody else. I'm no, not you're a good guy. I, I, I am a good I guy. I tell people that. But um, yeah, I, do. I don't know why I've got this fucking target. On my back because I really you're am with the wrong types of people. At some point, you're going to have to be, like, stop at the wrong... fucking every girl every night. But how is it that I'm fucking every girl every night, but I'm gay? You know, I, I mean, know. like, well, I don't know. Somebody's got to do some you're... math. How do you do that? <laughs> you know what I mean? You're and working you... really hard to make that. <laughs> yeah. it's not that hard. Trust too me. many people to yap either. now. Too many broad yap. Every... Yeah, with you technology. Too many broads yelling. Okay, Darren, but, go yeah, ahead, Jerome. But here is the thing. Let me just one last final point before we go to that. It's like it isn't hard work. And you know, and as far as like girls yapping, what are you gonna do? So then you gotta then you gotta just accept it, and that's the end of it. Yeah, that's I mean, if the, they yap and I come on here, and I'm gonna I'm gonna counter the story, but uh, that, you know, her uh, her story isn't that far from the truth. Your but, your blog on your website was yeah. so terrific. You you know, Greg Fitzsimmons came on. Can you here. believe that guy? Greg is, Greg is a good friend. <laughs> Unreal. He's a, he's a very funny guy. He said to really he, he came <laughs> here. He comes on the show and he tells this story. I'm gonna let you respond. Yeah, and I please. hope you say the same thing you said on your blog. Here is Greg. As I heard about this. I couldn't fucking believe my ears. Here is Greg Fitzsimmons talking about the great <laughs> Dave Navarro, who is here to plug something at ManiaTV.com. Ah, no, but I'll tell you all about all that. Right. It, it's, a, it's a good idea. Uh, Greg Fitzsimmons talking about Dave Navarro. Dave Navarro, you almost punched out, someone said? No, I said I want to punch him out. When I was on stage, and it's a tough gig. I mean, I walk out there, there's oh, 7,000 coked up porn stars, all <laughs> narcissists. Oh, that poor thing. And I look in the front <laughs> row, kidding? and there's little Dave Navarro with his little soul patch on his chin and his, like, <laughs> full-length leather trench coat and his dark sunglasses. And he's Look got fucking awesome. Crossed. Are you kidding me? Ahead. Of course and I did. I'm working my ass off, and I got good shit. I did well. Right. But, Very you know, well. When, I was there. When you're a comedian, shit. all you got to see is that one person. And who's not who's not laughing? Right. And and it makes you crazy. You're working for that one person, and by the end, this motherfucker. I swear to God, and I hate <laughs> Dave Navarro anyway. You know, he's the douche who get. He's never founded a decent band. He's gotten pulled into like the Red Hot Chili Peppers, and there was another band. Uh, what was the other band he was in? Jane's Addiction. Addiction. Jane's Addiction, but never in the beginning, and then always kicked out a year later. Fuck this guy. Are you kidding? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Get his <laughs> fucking fact straight first of all. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Let him finish. Let's call this prick too. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Because right. he's a great guitar player, right. but he's a fucking asshole. And I, and I just say, you know, take your fucking glasses off and look at me while I'm working my ass off to do a really tough game. You're a performer Give of you all a people. Right, you, know? you should know, right. So, uh, no, and I, I didn't, if I saw him afterwards, I was going to say something to him. But it's like, what kind of a douche... No offense, Artie. Goes to the porn awards like just to pick up checks. Right. Like right. if you're Dave Navarro, do you really got to take a flight to Vegas yeah, to get you laid? You shouldn't have to get laid uh, at a porn convention. Like Paulie Shore, I get it. Right. Of course you're here. Right. And he was. He has every right to be there. But if you're Dave Navarro, take it up a notch. You know, you've done bad reality. I certainly shows. don't go to fucking porn awards to be. listen to Craig Fitzsimmons. I'll tell you that much. Well, you said Those are the options? Wait, I got two <laughs> options. Pick up chicks or listen to some fucking <laughs> schmuck on stage not be funny. Well, you said, are you fucking kidding me? Well, you said it's unbelievable. You go to a porn convention. There's w- m- Millions women, of women everywhere. Women First naked. of all, Mandalay Bay. There's like, I don't know, 10,000 right. at home. Yes. And Dave goes, like you know... I know comedians are dark and like disturbed. He said, uh-huh. but I never realized the level of darkness <laughs> and insecurity. And insecurity. Like, like not oh, only is he bad, not only bad. is he fo- not focused on the hot chicks that he's you know he's entertaining. He's focused on the guy in the with the beard <laughs> in the front row. <laughs> 
<laughs> wow. Well, didn't Greg once say that he, in fact, blew a guy because well, he was... He, no. he was one of the people he who said he did it to prove he wasn't gay. That's no, true. but out. he did not blow a guy. He didn't blow the guy. He looked no, at the penis. No, right. He, he, he was in the bushes. He went there. Greg's a great guy, by the way. Oh, but, yeah. but he's, He he's sounds also, like a fucking cunt. I wish oh. you two would meet, because you're making a very good point. You're there to meet girls Dude, and to see what's first going of all, on. Yeah, it's first a of all, scene. not only that, I was nominated. My movie, Broken, was nominated for five AVNs. You directed a porn movie. Yes, I'm there for my nominations. I'm there. I was hosting the red carpet for the Showtime show. So right. when AVN appears on Showtime, I'm I'm fucking working. Right. So I got there at four o'clock in the afternoon. I'm talking to everybody on the carpet. By the time this guy launches into his thing, <laughs> I'm fucking burnt. Yeah, so you know you're what I mean. You're minding your own business. You know, we're both there working, Greg. You know, it's a give and take thing, kid. Right. So that's a, that's how it works, buddy. <laughs> ManiaTV.com is something you're involved in. You have a television yeah. show on there. Yeah, it's uh, it's I do a one hour talk show. No kidding. It's much like... I bet you're good at that. It's, it's a lot of fun. It's, it's, yeah. it's much like the, uh, the Tonight Show format. You know, it's just an eclectic group of guests, and we have bands play. And, but, you know, it's the Is same... Is it free or do yeah. I have to pay? No, it's free. It's, it's free. Totally I can go on there and watch your talk show for free. Absolutely. How do you guys make money? Advertisers? Yeah, sponsors. Oh, very yeah. good. Okay. So, so we give them sponsorship space, and then, you know, basically we have any... You know, we've had, uh, you know, scientists on there. We've had adult film stars. We've had right. great rock bands play. And now, it's what just, are the scientists talking about. Well, Pussy. I, I have, I have, yeah. <laughs> what else do you talk about? The science. We, we, actually, uh, an astrophysicist is coming on the show. Yeah. Who we're going to talk about. Uh, we're going to basically talk you about. You don't care about that Yeah, stuff. I really do. You do? I, I'm giving her a full hour, actually. Oh, her? Yeah. She hot? Oh, she's a woman. <laughs> yeah, there you go. No, well, I get as, it. She's as cute as an astrophysicist. Uh, what is it, Darren? Get. Go ahead. You're on. You can watch Dave on ManiaTV.com. Go ahead. Hey. What is it? Hey, Darren. Here, here's the thing. Yeah. He's 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 been on the air talking about how he's had dildos up his ass. He's oh. kissed guys. He's got makeup. <laughs> now now Stormy's telling. Uh, but I will tell you, I'm not the guy who stayed on hold to talk to that guy. <laughs> <laughs> but go ahead. Hey, whatever. I'm just I just want you to come out if you if you're gonna like boys. He says he like doesn't like guys, ass. and I believe him. Yeah, I'm bro. You, he's busy with the women every minute. But I mean, I hate to disappoint you, my friend. But how you is know? Jenna Jameson in bed, by the way? You know what? I'll be honest with you. Now we can call a spade a spade. Yes. Okay. Not great. Okay. I mean, the hotness factor makes it seem unbelievable. But the but when you really break it down, there's a lot of lay in there. What mm. makes a girl good in bed? If they just lay there, it's a drag, right? I think so. What do they need to do? Make noise or... Uh, they need to uh, at least uh, give some indication of uh, life. Vital signs. <laughs> Vital signs would be a good start. Right. Yeah. I'm really trying to understand. In other words, they have to seem like they're into it. I think that as long as somebody's trying as hard as I'm trying, we're good. Right. You know what I mean? Right, right, right. Yeah. To be honest with you. Yeah, you know so much about this. I see the chicks come out for you. One of our interns. You know, it's it's like... The little so, Asian chick? I don't know, but there's a girl who's... Evident, yes. We think she dressed for Dave. She oh, must really? be in love But with I Dave. tried to give her, like, the, hey, what's up? And she, I just got ice. A lot of the guys were saying, it's it, today is the most frigid, cold day in New York. That 11 you can degrees. Imagine. It's 11 degrees, yeah. and with the wind chill, it's like minus 59. Yeah. And she wore a mini skirt today. Hi. <laughs> Good for her. A lot of the guys were thinking you Come might. Come on over here, sweetie. Did you dress? Well, oh, oh. oh, this is my He's intern. Already, uh... wait, wait, stay right there. Stay right there. Wait, <laughs> let, me, let, me, let, me, let me. Did you dress up for Dave, yes or no? Um, I'm sure if you ask the other people that work here, like, I just like fashion, you know? And, right. <laughs> but, you know, you help. Of course, I'm going to try to look good, you know? Oh, that's right. Nice. You knew Dave was on the show today. Uh, yeah. So, uh, I was looking forward to that. What's that your was... nationality? I'm Korean. Korean. No no Spanish? No. Do I look Spanish? No. Would you like some Spanish in you? <laughs> <laughs> see, he's, he's, he's got see, a see, he's not gay. I've been dying to use that one. Let's yeah. see if Simmons write a joke like that. So if Dave Navarro asked you out. <laughs> right? If Dave Navarro asked you or out. Or at least be funny while telling it. If Dave Navarro <laughs> asked you out, you would go out with him. Who wouldn't, you know? Right. You, you would consider yourself <laughs> Evidently lucky. Greg Fitzsimmons. Right. Evidently. Come have a seat over here. Let's do the rest of the show. Does it bother you that he eats his own cum? <laughs> hey! <laughs> I'm just kidding. You, you know he does. He's Korean. They eat dogs. Don't, don't listen to him. I, oh. I am willing to share. I am willing to share. <laughs> I don't know you're gonna, you're gonna love he it. He doesn't. You know I'm you're joking. You're gonna love it. You Tastes know I'm like joking. honey. I hope uh, you're joking. <laughs> all right. So uh, anyway, no, Dave, Dave and you should talk after the show. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm afraid to put him near you on the couch. I don't know what could happen. <laughs> Next thing you know, you'll be dancing for him. Well, let me ask you this. How come when when I arrived and I and I said, hey, how are you? Nice to meet you. I got like just Ice Woman vibe. 
uh, well, you know, I don't want to get in trouble from Ronnie for... Uh... She wanted to be professional <laughs> yeah, around you. Yeah, I think you. it's different when you work, you know, for the show. Yeah, yeah. When you're a guest and yeah, you come yeah, on yeah, the show. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> By the way, when Greg Fitzsimmons was here, she wore a burqa. So you <laughs> <should> feel <better. laughs> I feel much better. <laughs> She's fully gone. All right, well, thank you. Uh, I just wanted to know what was Thanks, going on thank here. Thank you. All right. Dave She's will, adorable. Yeah, Dave obviously likes you very yeah. much. <laughs> we'll Good for you. The show. Right. Yeah, we will. Wow. We certainly will. Don't come in here and start, oh start tagging our fucking interns. <laughs> but why, why is it that why is it that I have to come on here and, like, deflect so much shit? Like, is it's just... Listen, you're out seriously. there. There's a lot this, going the, on. I'm, 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 I'm going like, to answer you. I'm not upset about it. I just, I, I'm stunned. Like, I'm going to answer you. I'm a fucking good dude. Yeah. I treat women respectfully. I'm going to answer Unless I'm you. jerking off at the Playboy Mansion. Just ain't the view. I'm we don't give a shit where you went to music school. <laughs> yeah, no get, kidding. You get around, number one. Yeah. So there's a lot of women floating out there. There, yeah. around with a one-nighter about Dave Navarro. Okay. A lot of women want to blab. You know, it's exciting. Yeah. You're, you've got a name, right. and you've got a profession, <laughs> and you're a good-looking guy. I'll and be honest with you, man. It's like, you know, I've never been on this show single, of right, course. Right, right. So I've never had to come in here and, and... Defend yourself. I don't even feel like I'm defending myself. I just... Just answer the charges. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, some of them are true. I mean, you know, I'm not going to deny <laughs> right. it, you know? Well, uh, well, listen, and lots of guys are going to be jealous of you. You've guys got to fucking, like... I don't know why... But I, like your caller there, yeah. I get a lot of that shit. You get it because you're a rock star. Every guy wants to be a rock star. You're, yeah, but how many rock stars out there? They don't hate every rock star. Yeah, yes, they do. If we got do. a chance to Secretly. talk to them, we hate them. All right. Because you, you can get laid anytime. You're fucking Carmen Electra. You had, you know who you had? Storm Large, the chick from. Um, I didn't have Storm, Storm Large. Didn't have no, 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 no. that? She's that hot chick who was yeah. in here. You know, she, she was on Rock Star Supernova. She's another one. She, yeah, she's oh, taller than Stormy, one, the actually. Singer. Did you date Maxim model Tammy Donaldson? I did. You did? Yeah. So that's why guys hate you. Yeah. You dated a Maxim chick yeah. and Carmen Electra. Maxim chick? Sake. I mean, come on. When you, let me ask you You something. can't throw a rock in L.A. without hitting the Maxim chick. <laughs> when you were, when you were, but for, for the rest of us, we can't. Yeah, they can't get the Maxim chick. All my rocks hit fat broads. <laughs> right. <laughs> the, the, um, uh, the, when you were with Carmen Electra and you mm. were romantic and you realized you wanted to marry her. Yeah. D it, did it not drive you crazy that she had chosen, what, what's the basketball guy? Dennis Rodman. No, I didn't care about that. Oh, come on. I get That's it. That's a poor decision. It may have been a poor decision, but I get it. I mean, you know. Did you ever say to her, "What were you, you know? You seem so normal." <laughs> Did you ever say to her, "She can't be normal"? Yeah, no, other, I never. You know, Rodman's I, insane. Yeah, I just, I don't know. He is. He's, I love he's, Rodman. I, he's an awesome dude. He's an awesome dude, but that's a crazy guy. When you get to know him, if you kind of like, you know, you know, you understand. Charming. You know, he's a charming dude, yeah. So I get that, and I've always, you know, I've always known him, and, you know, I mean, that, God, man, that was like fucking 10 years ago. Like, it right. was the last thing on my mind. All right. Yeah, but do you remember the story? I mean, you know, like, you guys came in here, you were so in love, you put it on TV. And I still love her. I mean, no doubt about that. And I have no regrets about putting that on TV. Really? Because I think that ultimately if I can get serious for a second ultimately uh, you know relationships and love and trying to make that work is only a positive thing at the end of the day was there a lot of crying at the end of the relationship there was, I think there was probably a bit yeah. a bit you didn't know, you but, tattoo comp CE on your yeah, chest yeah yeah I'll keep that forever Beth was saying that uh, for our uh, wedding, she would like me to, and I, I'm, I'm open to this, to actually, instead of getting a wedding ring, tattoo the ring hmm. onto my hand. Yeah. Uh, what do you think? Is that a mistake? I just think that the marriage thing is a mistake at you this don't. point. Yeah. Hmm. Even for me. I, I don't know. I don't know what your personal life's like. You know, I mean, you seem to do the show and, and then go home and stay there. So, right. that, you know, and if, that's you my can, thing. if you can do that, that's great. You right. know, No kids for, for you, right? No, nah, I'm not doing that. Yeah, you don't I need can't that. do it. You're I just, a kid yourself. I, well, be honest with you, since I gave up the drugs, like, right. you know, I went through so many years of, like, fucking turmoil and just, like, angst and all that stuff that, like, frankly, I'm, I'm reliving my childhood again in right. a way. Like, I feel like a kid, and right. I don't want to give that up. And You, you know, got male friends? Or any, any, who's your best friend? Uh, my buddy Todd, who's out in the studio. Todd's He's my partner on the Mania show. I see. Now, the Mania show. So you're going to be, you host a talk show. Yeah. This is a new area for you. Yeah. And music, what's going on there? What are we doing? Musically, we're, uh, right now we're doing some shows with DJ Scribble. We do like a live mashup thing, so he's like, you know, he'll cut some jams and and right. so he's still involved. Our, our yeah, and I'm working on a solo record. Are you gonna do that record. Rockstar Supernova again? No, no. That was a good show. I, I liked the show. A lot of people liked the show. The rock fans hated that show. I loved it. Yeah, I had a good time. Yeah, they hated you know? it. Why? They felt. Uh, I think. I, I mean, I don't know. There's a lot of differing opinions, but I really think that because, you know, you look at pop, you look at American Idol, you look at all these pop shows. Like that's like, you know. That's one thing, and people are interested in checking that out. But with rock, there's supposed to be above that an air of artistry, an air of mystery. Right. You know, you feel it ruined your credibility. 
Uh, well, I don't, but you know, you might not want to check with others because I think others probably do. And you do you I respond do. to that criticism? You cared? What I, you the, know what? For, for five minutes, I did, but right. like you know. The truth is that it's just it's all too short to give a fuck. Right. Do you know what I mean? Right. Like at the end of the day, like you know, and and frankly, I think that if anything, it's done uh good for the kids that were on the show and right. and helping them get to where they want to be. Really? Cuz I don't think any of them went anywhere. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but uh, they weren't let me tell you yeah. something, they weren't going anywhere to begin with. And and uh, do we, does your does Perry Farrell say to you, "Hey, what are you doing on that show? You, you it's not good for well, that guy. I mean, that's a whole another episode if you want right. to get into that. I mean, I don't know where where he's coming from with that. You know, Jane's addiction broke up like a year before that happened. Right. And uh, so I, I've read, you know, and you never understand how these fucking things, like, just like the vibrator story got to you, the way mm. shit happens right now, it's you say one thing somewhere and it ends up 500 different places. Did Perry give you shit for being on TV and uh, selling out, he, so to speak? That, uh, you know, he has said that, but then he's gone on to do Pontiac commercials. So right. I don't know where the fuck he's coming from. So you're not friends anymore? You know what? Uh, it, based on what I've read that he has said, I guess not. Right. Oh. You know what I mean? And, so and, and frankly, no some of the shit he said on this show. Right. You know what I mean? Which, that shit gets back to me. What did he say? I, I, you know, oddly enough, I think he said that he fucked his wife while she was wearing a Dave Navarro beard or something along those lines. Did you hear that one? <laughs> I don't remember. Which, you know, and they're throwing the gay shit at me. I don't know. You might want to look at that behavior. Right. Yeah, but you know what I mean? Perry goes that way. Well, who knows? You who know? knows? But, You're but, not throwing any stones. But here's the thing. Like, Maybe you said his wife is a beard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, what, but, but go ahead. Here's the thing you said. No, as far as the music goes with Jane's, like, I would always do that. Right. I, I, I love the music, and any issue that he and I have, you know, personal or otherwise, is... I mean, because you try to further your career... and secondary be to the band, yeah. Because you just went on a TV show and you were, you know, a judge of uh, these people. That's, he, that's not why the band broke up. I was actually in the studio with a different band when I got the call from Mark Burnett right. to do Rockstar. The reason that the band broke up... Uh, was actually a lot of miscommunication, and I blame management at the time, mm -hmm. really, because uh, we were, the three of us, the three musicians were told one thing, he was told another, we were told that he's gonna focus on Lollapalooza right. until 2008 or some shit like that, and we're like, all right, well, that's kind of fucked up. Let's go start another band. Right. Next thing we find out, he's pissed that we start another band, and it's just like fucking drama bitchy bullshit on everybody's part. It's hard, it's hard. You know, you finally get a band that works and you wish everyone could just get along yeah. and ride the, the fucking gravy yeah, train. Yeah, dude. I mean, the thing is, like, I look at the Eagles. Right. Somehow they fucking figured it out. The right. Stones. And Stones. Van Halen right. finally Van Halen? It Van Halen right. could work Are it out. Are you kidding? The Bangles so You can't toured. work it out with, with Jane's addiction? <laughs> well, I guess I guess ultimately what it comes down to is, like, if you love the music and you, and you want to share it with the fans, like, it kind of doesn't matter. Like, do you really have to get along with everybody? No. Be I don't think so. No, just go in and listen. We don't get along with each other. We do the show every <laughs> day. Clearly. We this is all yeah. phony <laughs> emptiness. We know how to do the show, and that's it. Yeah. No, honestly, yeah. I just read a couple of Rolling Stones-related books. It's yeah. clear that, I mean, Keith Richards and Mick Jagger have, like, Said mortally horrible. hated each other for horrible 40 things. years. Like, really? And they've yeah. never broken We're up. We're talking yeah. about fucking each other's women they love type money. shit. Yeah, I mean, they... Oh, it's, it might be that, but also I guarantee you this that neither one of them is as good on his own as he is with the other. Well, that's Absolutely. true, too. Yeah, definitely. You, you know? We know that. And I feel like that was the dynamic that we had. Like, yes. I, I think that Perry does great music on his own. I've done some stuff on my own, but I don't think that anything that either one of us has done can touch... What, the band so give did. the guy a call today and say, why don't we, let, let's put this behind us. Let's iron you this know, out. I, oddly enough, when uh, we got asked to do that track for Private Parts, right. that was the first time that mm. after the original breakup that we got back together right. because of that. Uh -huh. that and I thought fusion. that was going to work out. I thought so too. This band has broken up maybe four times over the years. Do you ever think it's you? You couldn't get along with Carmen. You mm -hmm. can't get along with Perry. These are people who are yeah, close I to just, your life. I think that I'm probably... Uh, Put it this way: When it came to the Chili Peppers problem, right, that was me. Like, what 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 was that? Drugs? Drugs. drugs. Yeah, it was clearly Chili me. Peppers. Great gig, right? Yeah, it was great gig. Never should have blown <laughs> that, right? You know, incidentally, I gotta get an MP3 of this for my, you know, just for when I'm just around the house and I'm feeling sad. Give me a copy of the this. Under the Peppers Bridge Downtown are still one of the most successful bands awesome. out there. Awesome, and they <laughs> Do you feel like you tossed that out the window? I think that it wasn't right to begin with. Like, musically, we weren't gelling to begin with. And, I see. You know, the, it, but it was an awesome experience either way. Right. How long were you with them? I think five years. Five years? Yeah. Made a lot of dough, though. Good chunk of time, yeah. Did well. You don't did have well. to work again, right? 
You know what? It's not a matter of that. I just enjoy it. That's but why you I don't do. have I, to. Uh, I you got yeah, I do. I do. Oh, you do? Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> of course I do. <laughs> that's why you're up early this yeah. morning. That's why I'm up here really? talking that's about the, Mania that's TV. That's depressing. Yeah, I, I, mean, I, thought you had, I thought you had enough. You could live the rest of your yeah. life. Yeah. You know, it depends on what kind of life you're talking about. Like, you know, if I'm going to the market every day and, like, you know, cutting out coupons, I could probably make it. But right. I don't really feel like doing that. Well, what, what, what's know? the deal, though? Were you, would you ever do a commercial? Like, a, like, a te- like if someone said, hey, Dave, we need you for a studio session to record a commercial, yeah. a, mu- a music commercial. Would you that, do that? No, because that doesn't pay enough. Right. That just doesn't pay enough, the bottom right. line. You know, to, and it, you'd have to, like, when it comes to commercial stuff like that, like yeah. when it came to uh, our sponsors on our show or being a part of any kind of product endorsement, it has to be something that I like and use. All you right. know what I mean? Like, I'm not going to go... F- Did you watch the Grammys? No. You wouldn't watch that? No. Did you watch that? I watched some of it, yeah. Was I, I, it? It, wasn't, it wasn't exciting. I, I don't really, um, yeah. Amy Winehouse, uh, you down with that? I mean, you like I, that? She, yeah, she's, she's all She right. won a few Grammys. Oh, good for her. She's, a, she's, she's addled on drugs. She's, she's a mess. Yeah. You know, but people love watching a train wreck. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's the other thing. You know, it's like uh, the, the way the whole, the whole tabloid media thing is like, I just can't wait to get all the Google alerts right. about shit that was said here. Right. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, people can't, like, fucking journal. What happened to journalism? People don't, like, find stories and write no. stories anymore. They don't check They wait the for somebody. They just wait for someone like you or someone else to, to say some anything. <laughs> and then all of a sudden it turns up and, you know, you start getting, like, you know, uh, alerts from India. Right. You know, about the same thing that you said somewhere else two weeks ago. It's right. true. And then you well, answer to that fucking thing for the rest of your was life. Was that hard when you were married to Carmen Electra? Was that a lot of pressure? Because um, then all of a sudden you were in the tabloids, right? Because yeah, toward it the was, end, yeah, they were saying, yeah, it oh, wasn't it's that over. Bad. Yeah, it wasn't that bad with Dave, her. do you yeah. feel bad for musicians today because they, it must be really hard. There's really no record business I, anymore. I, I, feel ba- I feel for um, up-and-coming rock bands. Who ruined the record industry? God, that's such a loaded Jews? question. You know, oh. <laughs> was it the Jews? Oh, uh, you know, I mean, it, it started. <laughs> it honestly, it, it started with Napster. <laughs> it started with Napster. You, were it, you against all the I was? I said, how is an artist going to make a living if they're giving away everything for free? Here's the thing. I was. I at, initially I wasn't against it. Right. Initially, I thought, hey man, this is cool. We can download music and mm. you know share files, and and it was good for bands that didn't have recognition mm-hmm. and name anybody can go find them and download their music right now when you got your myspace bands and so forth and they they have clips where you can hear them but not download it that's a good solution but it's too late and and what has happened is a uh people don't buy records anymore if they're buying on itunes or something they're buying the single mm-hmm. right you know I, and i'm guilty of that i don't buy whole records i buy right. the song i want and uh, so it's over it's fucking over and I what, mean, what, what i mean a guy like you if you were coming up now you, you can't even expect i can't to even make do it any i can't even do it anyway right because I mean, there's no point i mean where the, do you get the, your music played the deal is that for rock especially in rock you right. know because rock radio is kind of falling apart which yes. is which is unfortunate you know there's some indie ra- i work at an indie station in la and we 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 give it up to indie bands and so forth, but you know it is fucked for the new artist, man. And it's not—I've said this a million times—it's not a lack of great music out there; it's a lack of, of visionaries, right. and it's a lack—it's the corporate world panicking to fucking hang on to something that's going to turn a dollar. Because you know, I mean, you know the music industry is so on its ass. I read these record companies over. now are it's not even worth a dime. Gone. It is gone. And here's what happens. So, and this is what happened to my last band, and what happens to a lot of new bands that are really fresh and, and exciting bands. They get a deal, like let's say, you know, uh, fucking you know, EMI signs, whoever, some new upcoming band. The kids are really excited and they get their, their deal in place. Well then, here's, here's the expenses for your video. We need to get the top guy for your video. First of all, videos get played on a screen this big now on computers. Right. Right. There's no reason to spend $250,000 on a video. No. Right? Right. But let's spend two fifty on the on the director du jour, and then let's get the great photographer to do this. Then let's get like the fucking hot producer to remix the the single and then let's get someone else to remix what he did so by the time these guys go to radio with their song every cent in the budget is spent on right. trying to mold them into something viable in the marketplace and now and then radio doesn't play it and they drop them right and that's and, it and if they you know if radio even plays them then people download it for free yeah yeah, yeah. It's, it's a disaster. Then the only the only reason why a download would be good would be for 
ticket sales so these bands could go on tour and people would actually right. buy tickets and that's where they make their money but they can't go on tour because they spent the money on the video spent the money on the photo shoot on the mixing on the record right. so now there's no tour support well we can't afford to put you in a bus and put you out on tour and pay right. for a crew wow. yeah so, no, it's hard it's uh, really crazy but what do you also think of and you know, I, I don't understand the Grammys at all because for the last couple of years mm -hmm. they have pinned their hopes on building an audience by getting the sick person in the music industry yeah. on the show to yeah. perform. Well, it works, doesn't it? Yeah, <laughs> people tune in, but what does that say what, about did, them? Did Amy Winehouse perform? Yes, she yeah. did. Yeah, but she, but not in this country. She had, she to, be had in, to be in <clears throat> London. She had to be in London because oh, she's right, not allowed right, in the right, country. Right. Well, Look, I mean, I mean, it, you know, un in, unfortunately in that scenario, and I don't know anything about her personal deal, but the sickest person, you know, on the show happens to be nominated multiple times and right. actually right. have a strong record out. Yeah, you but know? last right. year that wasn't the case. It was well, Britney. She performed last year? <laughs> yeah. She was a big mess. Listen, if you want to see Dave Navarro, if you want to hear what he's up to, there's one place you can go now. ManiaTV.com. Yeah. The and show is called Spread Entertainment. And it's on there. In other words, I can download, I can watch any of the shows you've done. They're yeah, any of the there. shows that we've done are in uh, on demand, so you can go check them out at any time. And then we go live. That's the, the other beautiful thing. What I love about the internet is that it's not regulated yet either. Right. Thank who, God. Who who is the greatest guest you've had on there so far? God, we've had so many great ones. Um, who is the greatest? Quickly. God damn it, Dave. Pick mm. pick now. one now. <laughs> the greatest guest we've had probably Sasha Gray, who's an up and coming. Uh, Scientist? No, no, she's an adult film star. Oh, all right. Who actually I happen to manage. Did you so, bang her during the show? No, it, that not. would have been a better show. That what do you mean? If that had happened, I wouldn't have had to think that long about You're who's the best guest. You're a single man. You can what do it. What do you mean you manage a porn star? Uh, I have a company that I work with my partner, Larissa Friend, called The Spread Group, and we manage a couple of different You artists. don't feel you're exploiting huh. women? No, I, I'm not making the decision. I'm not going and, and approaching them and saying, hey, would you like to get into this business? This girl you manage. These are she, girls are, are in this business. The girl you manage, is she like a daughter to you? Do you wax her asshole? <laughs> uh, Chris, quickly, one last question, then I have to move on. Chris, go ahead in Mobile, Alabama. Hey, uh, I met Dave just so happens that weekend, I guess the Stormy Daniels thing. Uh, uh, I was walking into Rainbow Bar and Girl as he was leaving. And he had one of the hottest women I've ever seen in my life. I mean, if he can come get your women like that, then fucking sign me up, because he yeah. has the hottest. He yeah. didn't come. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's a stamp of approval. That's right. It's and an he, endorsement from Chris. Well, listen, you do have the hottest women. You are living the life. You can expect some jealousy out I there. I got to tell you, man, I couldn't be happier. Kid, that's good. Seriously. That's good. You look good, and you seem great, and You're I'm good. very uh, happy for you. Thanks, and I'm man. glad you came by today, and it's always great to see you. And I can't wait to hear who you're going to have sex with next. Me neither. It's always exciting for I'm me. I'm excited about that, too. You really are on a roll, my friend. <laughs> and, uh, and there's nothing wrong with that. If you want more information on Dave Navarro's show, the show is called Spread. You go to maniatv.com, you know, www.maniatv.com, and then look for Spread, and then you can see all the shows and check out Dave. And also, if you want to check out my latest film, Broken, go to www.terrorvision.com. Uh, Terravision. Terravision. T e r r a vision. T e r a. T e r a. Patrick. Sorry, Terravision.com, yeah. and that's your movie that you were yeah, nominated yeah. for. All right. Actually, Terra's my boss. Right, and you directed nice. it. Yeah. Fucking time of my Did life. Did you bang the chicks yeah. uh, who you directed? Tell the truth. Um, they're not that day. But you uh, did eventually. There, there was, there was, there's a girl in the film that, uh, yeah, that I had prior knowledge. Are of. you a sex addict? <laughs> Yeah, probably. Yeah. Is that why you couldn't stay with one woman? I mean, not for a long time. You're a sex addict. You need to have it all. In other words, it's I mean, not that's a girl a you don't when want. When you say sex addict, that like that draws up so many, so much imagery. Like, I mean, no, you can't commit. In other words, you just fuck and, f and feel you're entitled to fuck whoever you want. I, I don't feel like I'm entitled. I well, think, you, you know, fuck just, them, and then when you way. leave them, it's got to hurt their feelings, right? I don't leave anybody. Well, sure you do. Who do I leave? Well, you, you fuck a girl, you don't with stay anybody. with them. <laughs> no, no, no. My marriage, my ma the marriage no, thing is one thing. No, forget about Carmen. Yeah. I'm talking about you, you bang. Let's, you're, you're like a bee that pollinates everybody. <laughs> well, and, I like that. Right. <laughs> uh, pollinating bee. Look at that. No, I, do you, you ever say to yourself, well, maybe I can't have everything. Maybe I need to deny myself a few women. Are you incapable of deep intimacy? Is that what's going on here? I know. I'm not incapable of it, and I just... I recently had a, a, a girlfriend that we were very intimate. Yeah. Um, I think that perhaps um, I might be incapable of having deep intimacy forever. All which right. is, you know, fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah. All right. 
I mean, yeah. he's banging everything he can do. Multi- ah. multi- deep intimacy um, on a multiple level is Can all you good. go a day without having sex? Absolutely. All right. A day. You, uh, Did you bang last hours. night? 24 hours. Did you bang <laughs> someone last night? <laughs> <laughs> if I was to smell your penis right now, would oh, I smell oh vagina on there? Oh, my God. <laughs> Did you bang someone last night? <laughs> well, put it this way. If you were to smell my penis right now, you would not smell vagina. Really? No. No. no kidding. Yeah. Good for you. Wake up, take a shower. It's all good. Wow, look at you. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's Would you smell Greg Fitzsimmons? Oh. <laughs> let's let's uh, review. You didn't cheat on Carmen Electra. You didn't eat your own cum. Right. And you never no. sucked a cock. And never sucked a cock. And no fingers in the ass. And no fingers in the ass. You didn't Although, have a vibrator, vibrator in, the in the ass. All right, fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of people See, can do that's, a lot that's worse. That's the thing. It's like, if I'm going to cop to that, like, why am I going right, to... I know. You know I, mean? I know. Listen. Just don't pay attention to any of it. Just keep doing what you're doing. I'm, you're doing you know, yeah, I'm actually having a great time. Yeah, you're having a good life. That's yeah. all that matters. All right, listen. And, and good luck on your future marriage. <laughs> ah. <laughs> oh, boy. No. I, I think that's Make awesome. me nervous. No, don't, be, don't look at me to be nervous. All right. You just you know, make me nervous. You've different... seen it work for others, have you? I actually haven't. Me oh. neither. <laughs> that's, 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 <laughs> you're right. That really is the truth. Yeah. Question. yeah, what am I thinking? <laughs> I mean, the ones that are it's supposedly working for mm-hmm. fucking hate each other. <laughs> They're like 90 and hate each other. Oh, wow. my God. Yeah, you're scaring me. But we really do like each other. <laughs> right? We love He's each other. He's scaring sure. you. Yeah. The worst thing would be if you played tapes yourself two years ago, you'd scare the shit out of yourself. I yeah. Know. Yeah. I said anybody who get married is an asshole. Well, it's, it's hard. It's hard to deny that, like, you know, whatever that connection is, it's yeah. hard to deny that. Yeah. Chris and Rock. He, but she wants to get married, right? It was yeah. her thing. No. no. Well, no. no, no. She never said it. Supposedly not. It really. was my thing. Really? Yeah. I, not supposedly art. It's the truth. No, I'm kidding. I'm busting yeah. your chest. I, I, I was the one who came out with it. She never said to me, let's get, she said, we she don't need to angling. be married. She wasn't angling. No, she said, I'm happy with she the way things give you are. the time limit because there's a lot no, of that going no. on. She said know? to me, I'd be happy just the way we are. We don't need to be, we don't need a piece of paper. Wow, and you needed a piece of paper? Uh, I didn't need it, but I felt it was like something Pre-nupt? nice. pre Yeah, we're, we're going to do all that. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. smart. Sure, sure, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's taking you had a, all the precautions. I love her, pre- but I don't love her that much. <laughs> no, I love her, but I, I, I don't... You, you know, don't I love don't her wanna, for half of your stuff. You don't I, love her? I don't want to give anyone half my yeah. stuff. Yeah, who would you? No, I mean, uh, you I'd give half my stuff. <laughs> you, you had a prenup with Carmen, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, course, it was but easy. We, but yeah, we both, you know, we walked in with... We both had assets. You right, know, like, right. You know, if something didn't happen... That's Whatever. it. So adios, right. and that's it. So I'm not going to be one of these scumbags that's coming after her for because of the lifestyle right. I've grown accustomed to. Right. You know what I mean? Well, like, you had more money than her anyway, didn't you? I, we didn't even. I, honestly, we didn't even know. What do you think like, she's worth? What did you ever try to? Oh my god, her? I have no idea. Because she's, you know, she's one of these people who'd like when she goes to an event, yeah. or when she, you know, is gets hired to do an appearance or whatever, she goes to the fucking bank. Really? I mean, it's amazing. Like, what, like grand, what kind right? you get? What kind of money? What kind of bank? God, I, w- I would be speculating, but I mean, it's in, you know, it's six can't, figures. It, it can be in the hundreds of thousands. Wow. Jeez. Which is not a bad job. Maybe you shouldn't have signed the premium. Yeah, I really <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> yeah, what's wrong with you? Now that you think about it. Uh, yeah, my well, God. let me tell you. Let me tell you. You're doing it all and you're living life. I'm having a good time, dude. No, no, one, no one complains about that. Mm-mm. I still, I'm, I'm laughing to myself because the two of you really thought this was going to work out. Who, Carmen and I? Yeah. yeah but why would you laugh at, I mean, like, <laughs> wow. That is funny. Why, why is that funny? I told that? you it wasn't going to work. Okay, but let, let's back up. Why is, why is that funny that, like, two people who found each other and wanted to share a life together, that's funny to you? But, but first of all. Because yeah. i got to be honest with you, Robin, uh, that's a very, you, that's a very really... sad and dark and lonely place for you to be I living you, in. I know you oh, can't believe be me, she lives here. there. I know you <laughs> can't You know what I mean? I know you're so fucked up and cynical. Look. Look at you. Baby. I, know, I know that you are <laughs> upset with Carmen. I don't Carmen. look at that that way for everybody. Dave. Robin Dave. has prime real estate in that area. <laughs> I know what really happened. I mean, what, Carmen what is really the, happened? Well, I, I, you want I'm something? dying to know. I'll tell, tell you me. what happened. Okay. You wanted a wife. Carmen loved. She'll go to the opening of a, an envelope. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. She loves it. Yeah. And she loves running around all yeah. these events. Actually, well, it's though, a but, job. But, but to be honest does. with you, I, she I came after me. I know. You know that, right? But she loves all of that yeah. and after a while you said what the fuck kind of life are we having here this chick's going out every fucking time to every little stupid oh, oh event. no 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 I disagree she went and to all that shit like when it came to work stuff and like red carpet things in a movie and all that but mm-hmm. she wasn't like up in the club every night not the club but chicks. she goes to a lot of stuff she's not and one she's of those constantly running around no matter what did you need a stay at home yeah. wife he wanted that a partner. did you not. want a conventional he no no wanted, no I wanted, he wanted so- a partner I wanted a partner I wanted somebody who like had their own direction their own friends their own career their own right. money but you yeah. 
also yes. wanted her around for you. Yeah, but I mean, at the same time, I'd go on tour for nine months at a time, too. But so you like, would have liked her to go with you, and she didn't. How yeah, could she go? Little, she had yeah, she can't, Exactly. But Dave and that's wanted that. But this isn't the chick that, like, ends, you know, like I said, she doesn't go to the nightclubs. She doesn't end up at the fucking Dave, producer's house Dave, in Hollywood Hills. Dave, I'm being real. At three in the morning Dave, doing I've, fucking I know, lines and I know talking lo- about poetry and I shit. I know she's not that chick. Yeah, she, she's awesome. But I know you wanted someone around. And she was not around for you. Yeah, I wasn't around either, though. I Art. understand that. You know, but you so wanted get, someone with you. Oh, the, everybody wants that when they get married. That's what the idea is. And all you right, hope for the best. Right. You're being nice, but okay. All right, I, I know what's going on here. Well, what, what's going on here? I'm I don't, know. Know. I don't know. I'm trying to act like I know I something. I don't know a thing. Right. What he just? I, I just I can't believe you I don't find know that funny. What's going Come on? Come on! It was the two of you I found funny. Okay, but the bottom line is, <laughs> it, look, I'm making the most out of my 30 minutes here. By the way, the bottom line is that. What, are you going to chime in? You got something? What is it, Papa? So, it's Papa Bad News. <laughs> Lisa, Lisa G, she's too wimpy to come in here, so what? she wanted me. She thinks Dave might have had Botox because she says, Botox. His, I'll bring her in. Bring she her says in. his eyebrows don't move. Oh. And I said, I'm a guy. Bring I don't in. look at bring them. Her bring her in. Bring her in. Lisa, come in. Why do you see the ass on this broad, Dave? Stop. Okay, let's see. No, no. D- Dave. Yeah. Have you had Botox? I've tried Botox, hated You're it. You're kidding me. I gave you it a were shot. right, Lisa. He has he Botox. Has had I don't Botox. have it now. Look but... at you for a half hour. Your eyebrows have not moved. Let yeah, me they're see. Pointy up. No, they're, no, they're, they're no, pointy up. No, they're pointy. No, come here. Come check this out. Come get and close. You're the smoothest the forehead. Come sit down. He's a handsome come sit man. Sit down with me. All right, go ahead. Come on, down. I G. never thought oh, this. Be nice, <laughs> Lisa J. They're the same size. Yeah, don't fuck her, please. She's a newswoman. Okay. Oh, you do the news. Yes. Yeah. Oh, you don't listen? Because I've always wanted to say, this just in. Ah! Whoa! Whoa. Somebody's got a fun. What are you saying? Be, be, yeah, be, be a look. professional. Go it ahead. looks like you have Botox. Yeah, likewise. No, not me. <laughs> oh, no, Botox. Shit. no, no, take a look. It's moving. Oh, see, now it's moving. Yeah, it's just because... Let me see. Move it. Yeah, he can move his eyebrows. Yeah, yeah, but I've been watching for a half hour, and your eyebrows have. When not. is the last Maybe time you got Botox? All I care about is that when's you've been watching for got... half an hour. That's that's the. Yeah, what, that's what's up with that? When's the last time you got Botox? I did the Botox, uh, <laughs> God, months ago, and it just it right. froze everything up, and it was weird. Yeah. I didn't like it. Yeah. No, it's okay. not cool. I don't. T- you don't need it. Aged gracefully. Yeah, you're a you good-looking man. What are you going to stay young forever? Forget it. Yeah, I just I don't thinking? understand. Like, what he, <laughs> they give that shit out now on street corners. And you I just read I mean? something where they're starting to question the long-range effects of the too. Botox. So you they know, could kill you. I've made a decision. I was never good looking to begin with, and I'm going to die an old wrinkled man, and that's going to be it. I'm not Botoxing anything. <laughs> What's going gonna... on in the news today, by the way? Well, you will be, so I'll see you at the All right. Oh, yeah. Yikes. She'll talk to you. Right, listen, i got to move along. For more information. Damn, she's a cute little thing. Yeah, yeah go ahead. Oh, go ahead and ask her out. She's, she's single. Well, she's maybe that's today's conquest. That's right. <laughs> I just, you know, that whole news, I, I just always had that fantasy of, like, the hot news anchor. Just make sure with her, Dave, I mean? like, with her, Dave, make sure you say this just out real quick. <laughs> <laughs> For more information on Dave's a show spread, yeah. go to maniatv.com. I wish you the best with that. Thanks. And come see us again. Don't be a stranger. And uh, we love you. Love you too, You're man. doing good. The great Dave Navarro. <laughs> yeah. Dave, are you guys just going down or? Oh, uh, no. We're, we're homies. We go way back. Yeah. <laughs> we're all, we're, we're homies for life, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Dave, she may or may not have worn a special outfit for you today. May or may not. And, you know what? and I think it's nice being may or may not because then it's, it's, mystery, it's mysterious, right? Right. Does we it don't really know. Does it flatter you if I did? No, it does. And I think you look adorable. Thank you. So do you. You're Korean, huh? Uh-huh. You know, my partner's wife is Korean. Oh, really? He's got a half-Korean son. Oh, really? And I hear that they have the Make smoothest nice skin. Yeah. <laughs> it's nice. It's unbelievable. It's, unbelievable. <laughs> it's hard to believe that it's human. Thank you. <laughs> Bye, sweetie. Thanks, Dave. Take care, man. What is it, Gary? We might want to talk to our intern, because the guys are telling me that uh, she may or may not have been making out with Dave in the kitchen. What? Is that right? Let me find yeah, out. Yeah, we got to find out about that. Wow, so <laughs> fast? In the kitchen? I don't know. Like, six guys wow. said they saw it. Nobody was able to tape well, it. Boy, that Navarro her. moves. Is that right? You already... <laughs> is it true that you made out with uh, Dave Navarro already? Um, um, it's... Well, he tried to. Uh-huh. <laughs> what happened? Well, um, he like he's like, oh, you're so cute. I want to make out, and he like kind of like pushed me into a corner. Yeah, <laughs> that Chad. And I was like, you know, I work here. I don't want to get fired. <laughs> right, right. So you were professional. Yeah. So I, did you kiss a little, or what happened? I have a boyfriend. Oh, you do. Good <laughs> yeah. for you. All right. So, so when are you gonna dump your boyfriend and go out with Dave? <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
I can't say that, you know. I've been right. with him for like four years. <laughs> Would you ever cheat on your boyfriend with Dave and like maybe just run off and have a one-nighter real quick? If your boyfriend could never find out, would right. never find out. Um, I don't know. Like, <laughs> I don't think so. Like, I'm not like that. Right. But, you know, like if I was single, maybe. Right. Did he use his, uh, do you want a little Spanish in you line again? No, he didn't. He did that. not. Okay. No. All right. He only went there once. All right. Well, listen, uh, congratulations. Obviously, you could have had a celebrity hookup and uh, you turned it down. Thank you. I'm very flattered. You know? yeah. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Odds are I think she's smitten a little bit, but yes. what do I know? Well, Dave really knows how to move. <laughs> Dave moved fast. Had you it. know, but that's giving yeah. some credence to the Stormy Daniel story. He pushed her into a corner. Dave Navarro is on the phone. He got so pop. He? Oh, did he? Uh... Yes, he, he wants to talk about the intern. <laughs> Dave, what happened there? What did she say, dude? She said that you cornered her in the room. Tried to make uh, out with her. Tried to make out with her, and she said she has a boyfriend and couldn't make out with you. Okay, see, this is one of those deals, dude, where, like, people shouldn't open the door if they don't want to go down this path. All right. That is not, that's not exactly Well, actually, happened. she didn't really say, well, did she say that? She What's said, he, he, you asked her, did you make out with Dave Navarro? And she said he tried. Pushed her a little yeah, I guess. I guess she Pushed has a... Against, your poor little intern. I took advantage of her. Well, Pushed she her has a... But keep in mind, she has a boyfriend. So if something really did go down, she wants to be protective. So you, would, would it be better for her if I protect her? I would yeah. imagine so, since they've been yeah. together for four yeah, years. Yeah, you know what? I'll tell you. I'll tell you exactly what happened. I pushed her up against the wall, and I tried to take advantage of her, and she said, "No, no, mm. I have a boyfriend." And I'm Dave, gonna be I think Dave is saying that that's not what happened, but uh, <laughs> th- wait, hey. she's here. She's here. Hold on. What All happened? Right. Really? Well, I think that it's just like when I was listening, it sounds worse than it is. Like you're making it, it sound, does sound worse. Like, oh, he raped me or something. No, no. <laughs> no. Yeah. I didn't rape you. The word no, rape no, no, was no, never brought up. No. no. But that's how it sounded. Rape. I guess. That's how it now we're talking about rape. It didn't sound like rape. Dave, honey. did you rape my intern? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Would you like to? But there was some uh, you up against the corner. Kind of okay. Well, here's, anyway, I, I will say this: that there were there were there were fireworks in the air. Is that true? That's is all that? I'll, I'll go with that. Really? Yeah, she'll go with that too. Yeah. Okay. So we agree on we agree to disagree. Yeah. Are you two going to see each other or not? Probably not. All right. Certainly not after this. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. All right, Dave. Off. You were great on the show, man. Thanks. Thanks, Howard. See you. Right later. <laughs> well, yeah, I our... just I think I just saved you. <laughs> But I know when our intern Thank is you, single. Howard. You're welcome. I think I just saved you. I think he was about to really get into it. All right. Nothing happened between you two. You and your boyfriend are safe. Just fireworks. fireworks. Not. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so on record, Erica. Yes. Uh, <laughs> absolutely nothing happened. Nothing happened. <laughs> Now, where would he get this from, that? that well, no, I mean, something almost happened. So it got but, very close. Yeah, but I'm, I wasn't, like, accusing him. I think, you know... Things, words get twisted. And yeah, yeah, exactly. Twisted. Like, they made it sound like, you know, he was so aggressive, and it wasn't like that. You know, he was cool. It was a borderline intimate moment. Yes. That turned into nothing. Yes. All right. Thank you, Erica. No Maybe problem. next time you guys will actually... Maybe. <laughs> Thank you.